So I've seen a thing on Facebook. What's your favorite smell? Like, I don't know if I have a favorite, but I like all smells of fuel. Gas, diesel, two-stroke, <sighs> starting fluid, all that shit. I like <laughs> the smell of it. I, I mean, I shouldn't say fuel itself, but my favorite smell is still two-stroke oil. Uh, well, I shouldn't say Burnt. even. I shouldn't say two-stroke. I should say two snowmobile. Exhaust. Snow, snowmobile exhaust. I don't know what it is. There's a little bit of a different smell when it comes to snowmobiles. I don't know why. Different oil? It could be a little bit different oil. Maybe. I don't know what it is. It's a little bit different oil than... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit What's going on, you Brappa Hawks? This is the Brappa Hawks Podcast, episode number 23. Last week I thought it was 23, but it's actually... It was actually 22, so this is 23. So, 23, but... Midweek, 23. Midweek. We're a day ahead of schedule. We are. We're actually... We're on track. Fourth week in a row. Man, we're on a record right now. All right, we got that little flame emoji going on on Snapchat. We do. We? <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, so, it's a lot of good things have been happening, and we'll, we're going to talk about it. So, this is the Brap Hawks Podcast, where we talk about anything goes Brap. And I'm your host, Jesse, and I'm here with my best friend and co-host, Wyatt. Hi, y'all. So, uh, what's going on, Wyatt? Well, so, I don't know if I talked about it in the last video, but um, I decided to keep the Defender. Just not getting enough hits on it. and Yeah, I, I understand. I, I just owe too much on it. That's what it's coming down to, but... Um, so, I don't know, I've been looking at stuff for that. Mostly bigger tires, currently. <laughs> and, mm. well, power adders are out of stock. You gotta, you gotta order them. So, I'm gonna back order, like, exhaust and tuners. And all that shit's on back order right now. So, yeah, I've been looking at um, making her a little bit better in the deep holes. Hey. Looking at. I've been back and forth. I don't know what I want to run for tire. Been looking at thirty twos, and then I've been looking at thirties. Yeah. Cause I've been reading a lot on the defenders. If you go thirty two, you need, you need, you should, highly recommend you get four day iron. But some thirty twos run thirty. They're smaller. They run a thirty one. Yeah, it depends on what how big their log is and stuff. They normally measure by log, but some companies don't. I don't. I know. really like the Tusk Terabytes. Looking at those. Yeah. I like those two, and the Tusk Megabytes are kind of cool, too. I liked either or. I was looking at those, but I hadn't heard much about those. They just came out last year, so I don't think there's much. But they're, they're more... kind of like a carnivore. They look kind of like a carnivore. Yeah, I know. The Terabytes were kind of like a... Almost like a road Yeah, they're hybrid. more of an all-terrain. And then the Megabytes, I think, are more of a more of aggressive trail tire. The mud tire. I think, if I'm remembering that yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, and there's two... <clears throat> there's a radial... Um, cost terabyte, and then there's uh, Aramid 10 ply. So the only difference is one's an 8 ply and one's a yeah. 10 ply. I it's like 15 and 20 more dollars a tire yeah. to get a 10 ply. Uh, well, it comes out about to... 80 bucks more. Okay, I eight in my opinion, eight ply is fine. Yeah, and I, I don't even know, what, I think that's what the big horns are. Yeah. Most of them, uh, they're probably six ply, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, they're either a six or an eight. And an eight would ride better than a ten ply. Yeah, it'd be a little bit more of a softer forgiving, ride. Forgiving, a little forgiving. Yeah. Yeah, if you were in really aggressive mud holes and stuff, yeah, I could see a ten ply being better, or like sharper rocks and stuff. Yeah. But we're not in that type of environment. No, so. um, most of the <clears> roads. <throat> and your big horns um, have been fine so far, so an eight ply would be loud. fine. loud. They're loud on the road. Yeah, they are. You can hear they're, me they're, coming. They're a trail tire. Yeah. And, you know, they're a great tire. I'd, I'd get another set of them. They're just loud. And I, w- I would like a little more and all terrain. L- yeah. A bigger tire will give you a little bit better a ride. Yeah. Uh, a little bit better. And give me more ground clearance, yeah. too. Yeah. But then if I do that, then I'm definitely going to want a tuner. And just, yeah. I my, can't. My opinion, I'd get a tuner and a clutch kit before tires. That's just my opinion, though. I've been looking at them. <clears throat> clutch kits confuse me. 
what they're going to do is it, it's just more of a, a sp- springs. They're going like, to change out springs like, and look, rollers and you stuff. Know, looking at ordering one, they just confuse me. Like, I, I don't understand. Yeah. But, there's only two types for a Defender. You got your stock one. You got your uh, mudder one. Which is probably going to go slower. Yeah, and then you, which it should have more acceleration, though, I would think. It'd be more low um, end. It's, yeah, probably. And then they got a sport one. Okay. And I was thinking probably sport. I'd go sport. I'm not sure what their sport is doing. Yeah, they don't tell you. That's the thing. <clears throat> That's, That's weird. Bugger. Yeah. So it just confuses me. Okay. So, that might just be something you need to help me out with someday. Yeah. But, uh, yep, I was looking at clutch kits and tuners. And uh, MBRP exhaust. And then, um, well, last week we uh, tuned the Predators up. We're still fine tuning mine. We are. Mine. We Your, are. Yours is ripping Mine's, good now. I fine tuned it the other day because we went to Sunrise on a ride. And uh, the, it was pretty good on the ride. Um, I'll get to it after Wyatt's yeah, so done with we'll, his. his well, that's, that's what I've been up to. We did that and uh, ripping, pissed your neighbor off, which I thought was kind of funny. <laughs> oh, I was going to talk to you about that real quick. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> so we went to Sunrise, and my dad took off in front of us. He had to get gas, so he just left, and we were going to meet him at Dighton. <clears throat> and Dad forgot to put his stickers on his razor, so he did a UE in the road, and he did the UE <laughs> right at his driveway. So he came out as a storm and out. He saw him do it. <laughs> he stopped my dad. Uh, he was pretty good with my dad. Um, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I, I really wish you guys wouldn't do these Yui's in the road. And I don't want you guys riding in the ditches because I like to mow the ditch. My dad's like, okay, okay, whatever, yeah. So we just need to grab a gear when we go by his house? So, he's just mad so that we turn around? He was mad. He didn't care that we were on the road or right. He doesn't care, I guess. But he was mad that we were riding in the ditches, which we weren't riding in the ditches. I don't know what You the, turned on the ditch when it was your guys' property. I, yes. So I turned, yeah, that was my property. I turned in the ditch. And I don't know if he mows it or not. If he does, okay, thank you. But that's my, our property. We can ride in our ditch. <laughs> So, I guess when we do UEs in the road, just just be a little careful not to rut it up, which I You really can't. I, it's hard, but just if you just don't, do it slow. If you don't ride, though, he's not going to know the difference whether you're rutting yeah. it or... Because even in a razor, if you turn around yeah. slow, it looks like you just sank it. I know, I know. And the day we rode, they freshly graded the road. Yeah, so everything was just sent. <laughs> it was soft. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's what he was mad about, I guess. Oh. But anyways, <laughs> what you were saying. Uh, just that we were tuning in the Predators and ripping them. And I think I gained, I, I feel a little bit of power gain on my end. And I just got, we went from stock to stage one, which was for a slip-on exhaust, right? Uh, uh yes. Just aftermarket so exhaust. It's it's a, it. it was stage one for stock, everything, minus, it, they said, if you're running a, Aftermarket slip on exhaust yeah, and run so. the run this jet and that's what we put in there. Perfect. Yep. <clears throat> really, that's what I've been up to. Yeah. And this mm. week in the next week, I'm off work, so happy Easter to me. And uh, most of the days, it sounds like it's gonna be me. So got a trip planned this Friday to ride, and I'm so excited. Beyond, I excited doesn't put my mood. I am <laughs> so ready. It's probably. It's been raining the last, like, three days here, on and we, off. It, we've had nothing but snow and clouds and rain and frost for the last month. It's just never... We've had a couple good days here and there, but it's just been... We, we're just, like, cabin fever. We just yes. want to ride. We want to get out. <laughs> and we're going to ride Lincoln Hills and Luther, so that's generally pretty muddy. So it should be a I don't, fun time. I think I've been on Lincoln Hills... That goes to like iron and stuff, right? Is it or just a loop? Yeah, it's kind of it's just a loop, but you can turn off it and go to irons. Well, the the main trailhead for it is off thirty seven on okay. I think seven mile road. I'm pretty Six sure I've done the road. loop, but it's probably been a while. 
That's the one me and my dad always did, especially when I lived with him. Cause it's, it's, yeah. It's, uh, like, two and a half, three miles of pavement, and you're on the trail. It's about five to ten minute ride, depending on... Oh, uh, the loop is, so... No, to... Oh, loop. to get there. It's probably about 45 minute loop. Yeah. I think it's 21 miles. Okay. 22 miles. Um, really just depends on how fast you are. I think me and my dad hammered it out once in the razors in 45 minutes. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's generally how they go. If you're just hammering. Yeah. Which, it should be, there shouldn't be hardly anybody. We're going 10 o'clock Friday morning. Yeah. So. It should be fairly good. And they might even be slightly graded. I don't know. Who knows? I think they groom them on Thursdays. They do. So, yeah, we should be good. Should be fine. Yeah. Uh, Jesse's got a new exciting chariot to pop yeah. the cherry on. <laughs> uh, I'll take the can am in case he needs a tow home. Yeah, I probably do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll get into what you've been up to. Yeah. I pretty much so, my bases. Well, um, so like I said, we went to Sunrise, so, uh, it was me, my dad, and Cole. So it was a YXZ, my dad's XP Turbo, and then... I took the Predator. Not to interrupt you, does Cole want to go ride on Friday? They're, they're working. Okay. I asked them, right. but they they can't make it. They're working on Friday. Well, but... Brock don't have anything to ride. Well, so I don't honestly, I don't know if they're working. You know, it's a good Friday. Yeah. I'll ask him again. I don't know if they're working or not. It's true. But their agriculture, they're kind of different. Yeah. Well, they're, they're kind of agriculture. They're a tractor dealership, but... Yeah, I'll I'll find out. That's right. It's Good Friday, so they might I, have it. I kind of forgot. Yeah, he's got a new unit. He's probably itching to hit the trails. He's welcome to come. Yeah, I'll ask him. I'll I'll ask Brock if he wants to ride. If he or if he does have the day off, he can ride. The Predator. I have three machines running now, so um, <clears throat> Predator or the Chevrolets. Nah, I don't want him in the Chevrolets. Take turns but. on the Chevrolet. <laughs> I don't know if he's, his big body can fit in that very well. The mud sloop. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay, so yeah. I could was, probably get in it. Uh, getting out is going to be different it, for me. It's, yeah, it's cramped. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how long rides go. I can do short rides, but, um, a cat. Well, if, you know, if you're... If you do chair riding and it's going good and you're getting tired, I'm sure one of us would swap out with you. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Uh, you haven't even drove it yet, so I need to let you drive it. You helped me on it, for sure. You're more than welcome to drive it. Just wear my riding boots, so I don't care if they melt. They shouldn't melt. They might get warm, though. Uh, I don't know if your riding boots will be, fit in there very well. It might be a little bit of a stiff fit. Oh, that's true, yeah. I don't. That's one reason I don't like riding boots. These are not broken all that well because I always prefer my <laughs> Red Wings over my riding yeah. boots. Yeah, you, know, you gotta wear them. You gotta you wear them to break them in. So you wear them on your quad. And even just walking around the house and shit. And yeah. In. Well, even mine are still stiff to walk around in, but they're you know, broken. Though. I know how I break. I use them when I cut my grass. It'd be my <laughs> mowing the grass. I mean, <laughs> that'd be a stiff. You're working out some muscles you've never worked out before doing that. And my clutch and brake are all in one, so. Okay. Should yeah. I, should, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. I think I got two pedals. One for clutch, one for brake. Yeah. So, yeah. It'd be a good time. Yeah. Anyways, back to the Sunrise thing. So, um, I drove the Predator. Stage 3 uh, kit's in it now. I got it. I fine-tuned it. Um... Before we left, and uh, so what I did is I had to adjust the needle, and I I put it where Dino Jet told me to put it, but I don't know. It was not getting enough fuel still, so I moved it down three notches. It had to go down quite a bit. Perfect. <laughs> where huh. is that? It is, it is good now. It might, I could probably, they gave me a half st step uh, washer, and I might even half step it down a little bit more, but I'm going to leave it here how it is for now and we'll keep fine-tuning it later on but um i'm also i noticed my oil level is low i'm not burning oil it's not smelling like it's burning but i opened up my my air box and there's oil in the bottom of it so for some reason i got 
crank pressure blowing oil out. So I'm pretty sure I have a either a valve seal that's going bad or the valves the valve lash is bad or both. So what's valve lash? Or valve clearance. Oh, okay. So the clearance between the valve and the the cam lobes. That's what we're. Well, I didn't measure them. Well, I measured them earlier that I know they're set, but um, you take your filler gauges and you can measure the clearance between them at okay. top dead center. So, if that makes any sense. Yeah, kind, kind of. of. Kind of. So, you know those lobes that we we're on those cams that we were? Yeah. So, that lobe pushes down that valve. And you're measuring the clearance. So, but you're measuring the, so, actually, so when the, so when the lobe is not doing anything, so the, when the lobe is like straight up, there's that the bottom part yep. of the lobe. It's not doing anything to that valve. Well, if that valve is too high, then that lobe is pushing down on it, so it's open all the time. Okay. So to say, and if it's doing that, then it's not going to exhaust up or whatever, and that could be pushing your crank Push, pressure or whatever. Pushing your oil through to you. Yeah. That crank pressure okay. would be would be coming back through and put so anyways, so that that valve lash or that valve clearance has to be in spec. So you could have that issue going on with your predator. Yeah, it could be. Okay. I, the guy I bought it from, he said he adjusted the valve clearance uh, before I came and picked it up. I haven't checked it since, and I took his word, and it fired right up when I put it all together. So, I was like, well. He was actually telling me the truth. It it's obviously mm -hmm. in spec because it fired right up with no issue. But well, you are having issues starting up now. Or is this fire right up now that you got it <clears> going <throat> to? Um, it still does. So the issue. It was kind of like your dirt bike when your valves went bad in that. Yeah. Well, that was a little different. Uh, it's still starting up. Fine. But the issue is my I think my my um, throttle cables not exactly I think it's stretched a little bit. Okay. So what's I happening? Found, we found out on the predator that or prey that will yeah. cause a well, lot of issues. Well, this is the same th same setup. It's the same exact setup. They have a little safety switch in the throttle, <laughs> and if it's too loose, these contacts will touch each other, and it will not let it start. So when I give it a little throttle, I'm separating them contacts and it'll allow it to start so uh -huh. i've been playing with that and i think it's just stretched i so that's it, it it's firing right up just fine it's just I, the throttle i think is a little just a little finicky still there you go but um yeah so anyways i was i rode wyatt's um, when i did a stage one i was like eh, i still think it needs a little bit of tuning and i finally got mine fine tuned i was like yeah you're your quad needs a little bit more tuning like mine does. I think I need to move your needle down probably two or three notches like mine. Okay. I just... <clears throat> better I, better do it before this, you know, big call out of a drag race. <laughs> yeah. You're still going to stomp on me either way, but... <laughs> um, can be running on half a cylinder yeah, and I should be okay. It'll only take five minutes to adjust it. It's just tedious taking that stupid carb off and stuff, but I don't have to flip it. It's all on top. I just got to... Okay. Get it out. The and, little... just, and then you freaking flathead screws I got to take off. But they put, someone put the flathead screws on that top of their carburetor. Oh. Uh, mine are Phillips, which they're supposed to be. So we'll just swap mine out with yours and mine will be right. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> worth, worth a shot. Yeah. So anyways, we went riding and uh, there was a lot of people in Sunrise. It was that day it was Beautiful. Beautiful. It was, what day Sunday. was it? Sunday. Yeah. I had to go to work. I was bumming. Oh, I really thought about calling beautiful it. Beautiful day. <laughs> Perfect day. No dust. It was damp. I mean, it was it was sunny. The trail, you know, it was no. It was perfect. Perfect day riding. And uh, yeah, nothing, nothing broke down. Oh, no, well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. So I think I have a little bit of electrical issue on my Predator too, which I have a second harness. I might just splice in this new chunk of the the harness but I have to wiggle some wires at my starting switch the start button on my quad hmm. I have to wiggle wires and then they'll finally start it just just randomly started happening done no idea why so either wires cracking or something I don't know where it's at yet but we're gonna figure that out tomorrow um, oh we're gonna work on my quad first 
Yeah. Okay. Well, yours will be easy. <laughs> yours will be easy. <laughs> so we're gonna prep. Maybe maybe while you're uh, well, we'll get into it, but mm-hmm. so yeah, maybe while you're doing that, I could be buttoning something else up. Yeah, yeah, good. So, um, uh, Chevrolet. I got a little bit of coolant leak. I need to fix. That's pretty simple. Um, I'm hoping the Chevrolet is gonna run fine. I haven't really tra- tested it. That this is gonna be my, my literally my first good test ride on it. Like more than ten minutes worth of riding on it. So. So when you take that out, what you're saying is I should probably be in some sort of side by side, just in case. Well, your Predator will be able to tow it back just fine. Yeah. My janky ass tow hook grab bar. Yeah, it'll do it. <laughs> or the Warrior will. It'll be fine. Warrior is probably geared better for that. We get more horsepower. I do have more horsepower. You can't more let more stone throwing power. <sighs> That's true. Maybe I'll want the Warrior to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't the first time I pulled Jesse back. Wow. So I have to have a strap somewhere. So just in case. I'm gonna bring my I'm gonna bring in my camera gear, but someone might have to wear a backpack or something. Yeah, I was planning on wearing a backpack. Okay. My uh bat bag. That I'll probably put oh, yeah. <laughs> two dudes in. And... Yeah. Some tools. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll prepare. Eight and a ten millimeter, preferably. That's what most of our shit is. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Eight it'd be an eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, and a fifteen. And some vice grips in case you break the clutch lever. Yep. Or I do, in my case, my front brake. I do have an extra clutch, clutch lever. We should bring it just in case. Okay. Who knows we'll what's going to happen? Give that to Chris. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys are OGs, like 2019, I think it was, we went riding yeah. and Chris, he was with us. He <laughs> tipped, World Justin he, Warrior. Is it the same Warrior? Uh, no. It's a so, different one? I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a different one. Yeah, because he traded his. Uh, he traded that off for a dirt bike. Oh, okay. Funny story in that, the guy that traded him texted him after they traded and asked, what mix do you run in it? <laughs> and Justin's yeah. like, I don't run a mix. It's a horse stroke. <laughs> the guy th- thought he was getting a Banshee. Yeah, 350 oh. Banshee. It was a 350 Warrior. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah. Uh, some people, I swear. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Shit told him 40 to 1. So yeah. Yeah. Man, she should be running extra, extra, I don't even know, she rich. She should be ripping. <clears throat> anyways. Anyways. He broke the clutch lever off. Oh, yeah. So he, so he broke that. He tipped it and it broke that clutch lever off. Yeah. Good so, times. Yeah. So, so, yeah, we're going to get all the quads prepped and get the trailers loaded and uh, we'll be ready to roll. Everything. And anyways, sunrise ride, it was all good. Um. Yes, a lot. Of, a lot. It was a really good single track in the in the Sunrise Everett Trails. So we saw a lot of dirt bikers. Really? Yeah, a ton of them. Hmm. Uh, we saw more dirt bikers on the single track than side by sides. Wow. A oh, funny story though. We passed this guy in a Honda Pioneer. We went around this corner. We're you know we're doing twenty thirty. You know, just a, a good cruise through these trails because. Yeah. Sometimes they're they're tight and you don't want to go too fast. This guy out of nowhere, and the Honda Pioneer was going like fifty miles an hour on this corner, just, just Man, zoom. He was sending it. He was sending it, and he almost hit my dad. And uh, I caught a glimpse of it. He was in a four seater Honda Pioneer, and he had both of his both of his rear doors just flopping in the wind like this. Just, <laughs> I'm sure he lost his doors by the end of the day. He he had to have. The no way he was driving, given. none, none at all. He, hmm. uh, he, he was not driving smart, but. Well, up until you said that comment, it sounds a lot like me. He, no, you were driving, you drive way better than this guy <laughs> does. He just had no fucks given, but. <clears throat> no bleeps given. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's podcast, I don't care. <laughs> But, um, uh, yeah, so did that and, um, uh, update on the XP Turbo. Got all the parts in finally. And, uh, so the last three days I've been working diligently on the engine. Um, and while I was doing that, I was also, uh, painting Brock's razor. So Brock's gonna have a whited out, 
it's gonna look good. But he's gonna have a whited out white lime lime sque- lime squeeze razor. So it's gonna no, be. No, it won't be white lightning. It'll be a margarita mixer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, pina colada. Sangria. Sangria. <laughs> That's funny. So, um, yeah, he's gonna have. Basically, it's all gonna be white minus like the dash and stuff in the box, and then um, the lime squeeze part's gonna be his a arms and his trailing arms. That's it. I'm gonna have to come up with a sticker to put on his trailing arm. What's that? I don't know. No, you don't. Yet. Just, Just in something. white. Just something. Oh yeah. It's a little, little match in, in white. Yeah. I don't think it'll look good. I, I personally, I wouldn't have painted the doors. I would have kept the lime squeeze on the door and painted everything else. But he wanted the doors completely white. I was like, okay, but so while that was drying, then I had to go back and work on my Max P turbo motor. And so today, I was like, all right, today's the day. I'm getting the engine installed and it's gonna run. And so I came over for a minute earlier. You did, yes. <laughs> so. While I was getting the engine in, about the time I te- I got it all finally assembled, and I texted Wyatt, I was like, all right, the engine's completely done. It's it's, it's getting installed, and then Wyatt texted me. Um, they called me off from work today, so I'm done. It's a good day when they do yeah. that. I was like, what are you doing today? <laughs> it's like, well, grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and wife's like, what do you have in mind? He's like, I don't know, if you wanted to hang out. I mean, I'm I'm working on the razor if you wanted to hang out. So he stopped by and helped out for an hour. I had enough time for one beer. So, <laughs> yeah, one beer. And uh, what time was that? That would have been right around... Three o'clock? I left, yeah. I left here around 4.30, 4.20, 4 Yeah. Here. So I had got all the engine stuff put together while Wyatt was doing that, and around, I don't know, I, I guess I worked on it for three hours just assembling stuff together. It didn't seem like it, but um, three hours, and then I finally got everything hooked up that needed to be hooked up so I could crank it over. This is about 7 o'clock at this point, and uh, it did not want to fire, and I... I thought the battery's dead, so I put the charger on, and I did all this and that, and I was finally, was like, it's time for dinner, I need a break. Um, at the meantime, Brandon came over, and we had some beers with him, we talked for a little bit, and uh, and my dad, he was there too, we all, so, um, I'm like two beers ahead of you at, at this point in time. I think I've caught up. I'm sure you're probably ahead of me at this point. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, <clears throat> so I had dinner, and why I kind of forgot about why he said he was going to come back over. I, was, I told him earlier, he's like, we're getting this razor done. Tonight. We're Tonight. We're getting it done. If you want to come over. Oh, sorry, kitty. <laughs> we're going to get her done. So after dinner, I was, I even showered because I kind of <laughs> forgot about it. But I felt icky, so it doesn't really matter. But sometimes you just got to shower. Yeah. And Wyatt came over. He's like, oh, yeah, we're going to get this razor done. So we went back out, and I... Did a couple things I thought I screwed up, so um, we rechecked my time, and I was off by one tooth, so we retimed it and gave her another shot. Same still, still did not want to do it. So then I was like, "Damn, I bet you I put the intake shaft on backwards, or one one eighty degrees upside down." So the the uh, lobes would have been facing yeah, the wrong way. Yeah, the lobes would have been completely wrong it would have been and what was happening it would crank but it was under compression that it just was struggling and normally even if and this is what really got me even though it was under compression and it was still in time it still should have rolled over just fine but yeah i got that was confusing me it should have but i got some aftermarket pistons in this thing so it's supposed to be running i I didn't think about it, but it's running it's supposed to be running higher compression than it a little bit. Oh, okay. A little bit. That I can see that doing it. Anyways, not to get off track. Um so we tore it apart again and I rechecked my my camshaft and I rechecked my service manual. Nope, it was it was good. It was right. I was 
put it back together. Triple check everything. Triple check, yeah, we did. And, and you know, I did find you had a bolt missing. Oh, yeah, yeah, why, <laughs> yeah, why had to be tall? So I had this bolt missing, and I had no idea where it went, and I kind of forgot about it. Luckily, I was out of time. And Wyatt's like, hey, you're missing a bolt here. He's like, oh, that's where that bolt goes. <laughs> I had a, a bolt that holds a sprocket onto the camshaft. I had one missing. I forgot to put it on. <laughs> okay, this don't look great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that was probably would have been bad down the road. but. <clears throat> <laughs> so, anyways, after about two hours worth of trying to figure things out, we put it all together one more time. And I was looking at my ignition coils. I was like, something's not right here. I was like, I'm going to go check Brock's razor real quick. And I checked his ignition coil cables. And I was like, oh, the PTO cable is supposed to be on top. And the ma- or the magneto's magneto's supposed to be on top. And the PTO is supposed to be on the bottom. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Either way, I had it hooked up backwards. And actually, you're looking at them. They have idiot tabs on them. They, they, did, <laughs> they have idiot tabs on them. Yes, they do. <laughs> I, and I thought about that. Like, man, these... Why were these touching? Why are these touching weird like this? I don't get it. Well, now it makes sense, but weird. It cranked over and so just... yep, swapped them back to how they're supposed to be, cranked it and literally fired right up. Didn't even hesitate. So two <laughs> hours of bull crapping around. We three hours it was three hours, three hours. We got her going. I it's not my first razor engine. It's my I've done. Well, I did rocks once. And but I made a dumb mistake. I took the ignition, the ignition coils off, and or the cable. Well, you said it came off. Well, yeah. So one pulled off, and I took the whole assembly off and fixed it, and then I put them back together. And then I was like, I'm pretty sure this is how it goes. In my, and in my mind at that moment, I was like, I will double check this when I put it back together. And I did not double check it when I put it back <laughs> together. So. I was wrong. I had a 50-50 chance, and it was wrong. <clears throat> so, anyways. And I'm still learning, so yeah. I wouldn't have caught that. Yeah. It was just one of them things. I'm glad I caught it. I was like, um, I'd better double check this. But So, anyways, uh, it runs. It's I got it up to 160 degrees temp, and I turned it off. I'm going to let it cool down, and tomorrow we're going to get it up to temp again. I got to put coolant um, in we'll it. put coolant in it, and we'll... We'll keep cycling some heat heat strokes through it just to get the engine, you know, warmed up and uh, make sure everything, the ring seat in and everything, just the oil's lubed up good. So You don't want just me to go boost it, launch it? Don't want to boost launch it yet. Not yet. And rip around in the dude's driveway and... Not quite. Have fun. <laughs> Not quite. So tomorrow, <laughs> as we're speaking, tomorrow we're going to have it buttoned up and then uh, we're hopefully going to take it along with us to our ride and maybe ride it on the trails right. we're figuring out the whole scenario yeah. how we're gonna I mean, do if, that if lincoln lincoln hill trail system's only 40 minutes long uh, if you're booking it uh, then... if you're all and that's just two people we're yeah. gonna have probably at least five okay it'd be at least five of us yeah if i'm riding the chevrolet i don't want to dry like a maniac so i'll just have to let everybody know because i I'm uncertain of how that's going to drive. I just don't know. Well, we got two people that will be on dirt bikes. Yeah. Possibly three. And then, I mean, Justin's probably down for whatever. He don't care. Yeah. I asked, I talked to him about you staging ahead of time even. He's like, yeah, that's fine. Just let us know and show off for the camera. Maybe something stupid will happen. Yeah, Kodak Courage. Give me what you got. <laughs> Yeah. Third gear pin, the whole corner, <laughs> grabbing fourth. <laughs> Pulling a wheelie, eating it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure something stupid's going to happen. I guarantee it. <clears throat> but anyways, we'll we'll get the razor going, and I'm excited. It, I was so happy I wasn't going to bat, go to bed mad tonight. I was so happy that didn't happen. <laughs> I wasn't going to let you. We're going to be up all night working on this damn thing. It's not the first time. I remember, oh, this is years ago. Back to the KFX. It was blown up like it usually is. <laughs> and so actually what was going down is uh, Brock blew the transmission up. He blew out fourth and fifth gear, I think. So this is the... 
we we weren't mechanics by any means. We we learned this whole process as we went. We Brock wanted to do the transmission himself because he didn't want to pay anyone else to wait three months to get something done. You know how that goes. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember what it was, but we were going to go riding. I think we were going to hit Silver Lake again or something, and we needed to get this fixed. So we were up until 1 a.m. trying to figure out this transmission. You guys in Silver Lake, wait until the last minute. Fix <laughs> every, the shit. Time, every time. Bro, every I'm time. Gonna, I'm going to redo the top of my motor three days before we go to Silver Lake. <laughs> every time. Just to yeah. add another quart, run it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it was supposed to fix the issue, which it did until it didn't. <laughs> that's when we went around. That's when Brock decided to just completely rebuild his engine. So, Anyways, back to the case. Anyway, yeah, so anyways... <laughs> Back to the KFX. Um, he said, you know what? He said bad luck with shit. <laughs> <laughs> he has. Uh, He's not the scrub for anything. And, and when it comes to, he, when he orders stuff, he always has problems. His packages always get lost or whatever. <laughs> he's waiting, he's literally waiting on one part to just. Bearing, right? Camshaft bearing, or crankshaft bearings, yeah. <laughs> so he. <laughs> He literally, he specifically ordered from this vendor because they were in Ohio. So it's a, literally a two-day shipping. Even if it was just standard shipping, it'll, you know, it'll take two days. Oh, no. So this Ohio package got sent out to California. And now <laughs> it's on its way back to Michigan, apparently. It, <laughs> last he checked it, it's in Arizona right now. It went to California, now it's in Arizona. Should have your grandparents pick it up. <laughs> Why they sent this to oh, freaking out west? Yeah. I I've, don't get it. I've had shit like that before. I order <laughs> something from Amazon, and I'm like, yep, it's left Indiana. And then the next day I look, it's in freaking Missouri. Like, <laughs> what the hell? It's opposite direction. Yeah. Come on. Well, we'll get that, too. Uh, like, I, I, It's um, like a uh, postal service. We order something, and they ship it to Traverse City, which is... An then, hour and a half north of us, and then they ship it back down. Back to Cadillac. Back to Cadillac, and then back to us. Yeah. So, it, yeah, because Traverse City is it a must, big, it's a big distributor. It must be on a semi. Yeah, I think it's what's that going That goes to the to big the, city. The big distributor. And then goes to then it gets the little truck. Yeah, that's what it's going down. So they probably shipped it out of Ohio on a semi. Probably. And the semi had to drop off in California. Before I don't. Michigan. I've never seen. This is FedEx, so I don't know why FedEx. They're usually decently smart enough to not ship it. They're wasting fuel. They're. I mean, they're wasting space and fuel on it. How much fuel? I don't know. Or space? I don't know. Unless they but, got shit to pick up to bring to Michigan, in California. They, it might. Be, I think someone goofed and put it on the wrong truck, and <clears throat> it got shipped to California, and they scanned it like, "Oh, this gotta go back to Michigan." Now it's on its way back. We've had that at work, even. Yeah. We've had shit that's supposed to, uh, like, just like it's supposed to go to Leroy Tool and die, but it we gets dropped off at our like. Oh yeah. Or not Leroy Reed City Tool and oh. die. But they drop it off at our place. Like yeah. You're like three blocks off, man. Come on. Yeah. Read the numbers right. Anyways, back to KFX. <clears throat> uh, we finally figured... So we had trouble, I, if I remember. We kept having trouble getting some of the gears on right. We're And we were learning this as we go. We'd never done transmissions in our life. Whew, that sucked. But, yeah, we were up until 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. or something. And we finally got her fixed. But, um, yeah. And now we're uh, still doing the same stuff. Fun stuff. Except I was not going to be up until 2 a.m. Well, I probably would have then. Because Wyatt was like, you said you were doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> we're getting it done. If I had to go down to the crank, I Burning was not going to. midnight oil. I was not going to stay up that late. But That hey. would have been good for another one or two teardowns on the top end. Yeah. I would have made you. I was frustrated as you were yeah, getting. <laughs> I would have been pissed if I had to pull the engine back out to get to the crank. But. I was very digital, diligent about getting it right, and I had all the bolts torqued to what they're supposed to be and everything, so I, I got her. Do- Top uh, end was kind of just sent. I had it right the first time, other than it was out of time. And I, I forgot a bolt. I forgot one bolt. No, the bolts were just sent. Oh, well, 
<laughs> I, I, I know what my, my impact will torque them pretty darn close to spec to about 12 inch pounds. This is like... I know my truck. I know how much gas <laughs> I can get out of the tank. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But. <clears throat> Funny shit. Yeah. So anyways, I'm excited. Um, runs good and, well, so far it runs good. <laughs> Sounds good. It does sound good. Mm-hmm. Yep. So no knocks or ticks no. or nothing like no. that. I'm excited to send it. You've let me send all your other machines, so I don't know why you wouldn't let me send this one. So, (laughs) (laughs) I'll let you send it. You helped me. I'll give you that. I mean, I didn't help you on the X3, and you still let me send that. That's true. It made you happy, and it made me happy seeing you happy, so I'll let you send it. I'm always happy sending it. I try and send the Defender. And you've seen that. Yeah. First six seater to ever endo in your rear view mirror. That was Damn that would have been the first six seater I've ever seen almost do a front flip. That was a 80 20. 80% chance I was going to flip it, 20% <laughs> chance I didn't. It was. <laughs> I don't know how you saved it, but you did. Throttle. When in doubt, throttle out. No brakes. This guy does not use brakes. <laughs> I mean, those hills were peaking pretty hard that day. <laughs> that was just oh, that was a good day. I'm just uh, I'm glad Rebecca wasn't with me for that. She would have been screaming and probably bitching me out. Yes, yes, she would have. She would have gotten out and she would have been peace. Probably would have walked back to the truck. <laughs> uh, and here's Brianna. She's like. Do it, Do it again. again. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> I missed it. Do it again. Yeah. What were you thinking? Like, did you did you say anything? In, like driving? Oh, I watched you, and I was swearing up and down. Like, holy <laughs> shit! No, like, why I was flipped it? Oh my god! <laughs> Brianna was like, I can't see. She was so mad at me. <laughs> I can't see. So I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't have the X ray turned at the right angle. Oh. Uh, after well, so, that, after that, we got mirrors in the X three. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so I was, I was like literally right behind you, and I seen your your butt like pump up. So I just, I had to get momentum for these hills, and Jesse just in his X three has the power to do it. So I was like right on his ass, like three oh, yeah, feet from his rear end, and he went over the hill, and it like kicked his rear up, and I'm like, it was a teeter totter. I mean, <laughs> these hills were pointy, and I'm thinking. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I need it for the hill. So I just freaking send it. He would not have made it if he didn't slow down. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, later in the day, I like surfboard most of the people. Yeah. <laughs> They're starting to flatten out. Yeah. People bottoming out going over them. But I sent it, and I probably got... I was probably sitting three feet up in the air. <laughs> yeah. My ass was still yeah. going over the hill. Yep. And next thing you know, you're, at, you're just endoing down. And endoing down. Like, from the front like wheels. straight down. I was riding two wheels down. Yes, you were. For a good, you... probably, what, 10 feet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't in four wheel drive, you probably would have endoed over. Oh, probably for sure. Yeah. It probably would. <laughs> it was close. It's in front wheel drive for a good 10 feet. It was just, it's weird seeing, it was weird seeing uh, that long of a machine just. Almost roll front ways. It just baffles me. It's just... <sighs> it almost happened. It was... It's like the highlight of the day. One of them. That was, that was a good highlight of the day. You're not wrong. And it, unfortunately, I don't... The cameras just weren't facing that way. Just, just yeah. didn't get it. It's just a mental image burnt in my head. Yep. And I can still remember. Brock seen it from the other hill yeah, over. Yeah, Brock saw it. I saw it in the mirror. and I wrote it out. Unfortunately, <laughs> Brianna didn't see it. <laughs> Never going to let me forget that. <laughs> Brianna, you remember the time I almost endoed? <laughs> no, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. I know you're going to be listening. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if she had more time this weekend, well, we got invited to go to Silver Lake this weekend, but it's just, 
just then it, it's not gonna work out. It's Easter weekend and it's just yeah, too got, busy. I have an Easter party going on yeah, too. We're on doing Saturday. Easter dinner that night, night day. So it's the only time Brina's gonna. She's coming back from her externship. I haven't seen her in three weeks. I don't know why this was the fastest. It didn't see. I shouldn't say this. I mean, not. It's just because I was just so busy. But it was the fast three weeks, which I'm glad. It kind of was, cause it kind of feels like just the other day we were watching Batman and. I know that was eating. three weeks ago. It only feels like a week and a half for me. It'll be three weeks. What Saturday? What day was it? That Saturday we went. It was a Saturday. Yeah, it was a Saturday because she left that Sunday. So yeah, three weeks yeah. ago Saturday. That's insane. Yeah. But, I got the um. Finally, the so the cop that usually inspects my vehicles, he was on vacation for a week, so I've been, that's what that's what's been the holdup on my truck. Okay. So he finally came last Tuesday and inspected it, and it passed. Out and then. So Sweet. <clears throat> I'm getting the paperwork probably tomorrow, so then I can go to the Secretary of State and get it transferred over, and I can finally list it for sale. Um, but I have an ABS issue that randomly popped up, so I gotta get that fixed before I. Sell it. So when it's road legal, time to do some burnies. Make sure she's broken in properly. I'm not doing any. It. I'm not doing any burnies on her. But um, oh, the old Hemi will do them. <laughs> I don't know what your EcoBoost has a problem. Oh, it can do it. Oh, I don't think Man. it can. Oh, I don't. Think don't. It can. No, I think it can. I don't think. It can. I I know. There's it can. only one way to solve this <laughs> no. issue. Oh, but <laughs> so that that's the first. Oh, tur- EcoBoost Ford I've driven, or you know, turboed turboed vehicle I've driven. Other than a diesel, they get but, with the program, but I just don't um, think they have enough to do a burnout. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I used my truck. I used that truck to tow. So my um the per I've been working on some sleds the last winter for for some clients, and this guy, he's been busy all all winter, which I understand. He lives down by Lansing. And he finally came up to, so he's got a cabin over by, um, well, south of the lake on 60 Mile. And uh, he uh, didn't want to drive his diesel up here, which I understand because freaking diesel is $5 a gallon. So he asked if he could borrow my vehicle. I was like, yeah, I'll help you out. If you're, if you're in 60 Mile, I'll, I'll, I'll deliver them for you. So I got the, hooked up the trailer to my white truck because that was the only truck at the time. My dad's Ford had, had a, a breakdown. <laughs> you could have borrowed one of my Dodges. Them yeah. are always, you know, ripping. Yeah. We weren't going that far, so I <laughs> used my truck. and So I loaded up the snowmobiles. He came over and helped me load them up, and we towed them over to his house. And as I was towing, I was like, man, this thing is towing good. Wow. This is nice. It just, it just had spunk at the low end. And, uh, uh, the... The turboed, the EcoBoost, have a little bit more horsepower than, say, the 5.0. Yeah. Um, but the 5.0 has more torque. But, I don't know, I'm telling you, this 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 two seven EcoBoost towed they way got, better than the 5.0 dialed. did. Yeah, it's dialed right in. It just better. didn't even know there was a trailer in the better back. Better than your thing. silver one or your black one? The silver one. I okay. haven't towed anything with my black one yet. I'd say the black one would be probably because of the lift. Yeah, but, but no, it, was, it towed better. It, it seemed like it did anyways. It it has giddy up. I, you're, you were telling me someone gave you a ride and there was the 3.5 or 2.7 EcoBoost. It was when they first came out, so I don't it know It was a 3.5 then. That was the first. This yeah. is the 2.7. So I pissed him off and <laughs> he's, in, he's priced. 73 when I piss him off and I know they'll do a burnout because he did a burnout <laughs> stop <late. sighs> but I don't think your 2.7 liter will I don't think it's got the liters do it'll it. do it I don't think it will it'll do it I don't think it will it scoops <laughs> it scoots good oh you can scoot and just not be able to do a burnout well, it than... does a burnout <laughs> I know they'll do a burnout <laughs> I'm not wearing these tires out because there's no they're they're not exactly folks we'll be right back we're gonna go settle this right now <laughs> I'm, i don't have to prove anything it'll the scoop proof's in the pudding it'll burn out will it 
It'll burn out. I don't think it will. It'll, it'll burn out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, it's going to go for sale next week. I can see it now. Brianna's listening to this in the car ride back home. Jesse, just do the burnout. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's saying, don't do the burnout. We need these tires. I don't want to burnt out tires when I try to sell it. You just put those ones on the front. It's called rotating your tires. That's why you <laughs> rotate them. I think they've been rotated once already. Oh, perfect. You did the burnouts and you rotate them again. It'd be all equal. <laughs> oh, yeah, they'll be like, why is there hardly any tread left on these tires? We'll find out if she's a one-tire peeler or not. <laughs> it's got a diff... No, this one don't have diff lock, I don't think. We could find out. We could prove her all in one point. <laughs> it'll do. It'll do. Burnouts just fine. I I trust it. Just it. I trust out. it. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, if we use Jolene though for this trail ride, we'll maximize our towing capabilities. Yeah. She doesn't pull as good as my new truck. I can see that, yeah. Yeah, she's a bit of a screamer. Yeah, we're not going that far, so that's not... That would be fine. That would be fine. Just, just stating but, the fact, she does not well, pull us good. If we have to take two Betty. trucks, then... If we have to take two trucks, which one am I driving? It don't matter. I don't know. Yeah, it don't matter to me either. You can either drive Betty. She has mm. occasional hip problem that pops. Yeah. Or you can drive two-wheel drive <laughs> Jolene. Uh, I know you like Jolene a lot. I'm good with either one. It's both my trucks. I guess it all just depends if we can get the XP turbo done in time and yeah. if you want to take your Defender. Well, it would be if you want to drive the Defender or not. But if we... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I yeah, that yeah. in there. I saw that. <laughs> you almost got me there. If we but if we all want to do a side by side ride, then we almost have to have two side by sides if everybody wants a ride. That's the thing. So yeah, we could fit everybody if we took two side by sides. Yeah, that, that's our the two side by sides yeah. we could fit. Yeah, I'm sure it might be. We want to do a, a fight haul and, ass huh? trail ride yeah. around. Yeah, you'd have to keep up with the XP Turbo. I ain't worried about that. I got can am. Ah, oh. it's true. You did keep up with us in that. That one ride. I'm not Toyota. worried about scraping yours because it's got some miles on it. <laughs> I was worried about scraping your dad's with yeah. Cole driving it. So. Yeah, that was pretty fresh. <laughs> I think this was like first trail ride. That was first it was the second. It was like, I think it only had 150 miles on yeah, it at that point. Less than 200 miles. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just so you know, I would not be letting out of it for you. We'd be ru- right. rubbing. Well, you'd be rubbing doors on nets. I'd have five screaming passengers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they would be screaming for... I, yeah. It'd be like... <laughs> it's like when you were uh, over at Ogre Lake and uh, Ryan was passing us in a one-lane dirt road when he was, should not have been trying to pass us. <laughs> yeah. We were both in the ditch doing 90-plus. <laughs> oh, Jesse is white knuckling it. I had never held on a oh shit handle so tight in my life. That was in my old Dodge Dakota with the yeah. little V8 in it. Yeah, that was pretty. That was rough. <clears throat> Just screaming. It's like, why? What? Are, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Ryan, I, I was, at that point, I was one up. Me and Ryan had raced twice, and I had beat him twice. So, I was one up on him. <laughs> and we raced three times. We had raced three times. That was our fourth time. And then I, I I, had to let out for the corner. I knew we wouldn't make it if I didn't. And we barely made it at 85. That was, that was sketch. <laughs> well, Ryan had one tire peeler. And yeah. I knew his truck cut out at 98. <laughs> and I had Posse. And my truck didn't cut out to like 120. But I had a smaller V8, and so he had more low grunt. A little bit more oomph. Yeah, so mine was more top speed. Yeah. Yeah, I beat him on the highway. 
I beat him by Bristol Ballfields. And then it come down to that. <laughs> and he's like, I beat you, and peeled out and just threw rocks all over the truck after that. <laughs> he did. He stoned the shit out of it. I would have been pissed. Ah, this old beat up truck, though. No, that's true. I had yeah. rust and all kinds of shit going on. Yeah. So when we, uh, drag race Friday. So we're going to do what? Warrior. Ver- so we're going to do all three versus each other, and then want to single them out, or what do you want to do? Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to figure out where we're going to do it at. Yeah, we need a good the spot. The ideal to spot to do it's in front of Chris's house, which is oh. back yeah. by so, 55. So we'd have to drive out our way to get there? Oh, we could take forest roads. Yeah. I don't want to do it on Seven Mile Road, because I don't want to piss my dad off, my grandparents off, and their neighbors off. Ah, we'll just tell them ahead of time. I don't care. I, I probably Forest Road would be the best road. Hey, whatever there. you think. Probably Ten Mile <clears throat> Road. We we'll just ruin it for everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's a gets... long flat stretch. There's a couple long flat stretches in there. So. Okay. Yeah. So the drag racing of the bikes. You refill. Uh, I'm good for. I'm good right now. Drag racing of the quads. Uh, I think. I think like 10 mile road. Alright. Middle of the forest. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you figure all that out. You know that place better than I do, so. I ah, used to. I mean, shit, it's been so long. As long as, long as the cops don't get involved. <laughs> They're forest roads. So if we all split in different directions, which one are they going to chase? <laughs> the slowest person. <laughs> so the warrior. We're good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you listen to the podcast? I think uh, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe parts of them. <laughs> uh, no. Well, we'll figure it all out that day. I plan on doing. Um, I want to tr- do some trail riding videos differently. Yeah, I want to put more effort into it. You know, go ahead. Like put you said, go ahead of time. You get some B-roll of everybody passing by and stuff like that. Just and, so I think it'll turn out good. I just gotta put more effort into it and just let us know. So, yeah, I, mean, I know me and Justin are open to it. Right. I'm sure. It's fine. I'm sure Chris yeah. will be. That's what I ride in my family. They're just always in a hurry to ride. <laughs> we never take very many pit stops to just. Your dad's like stop. an A to B guy. <laughs> yes, he is. I'm he a is. A. I got a P. <laughs> I got to pee. Yeah. I got to pee. Let's talk a little bit. <laughs> yeah. To be kind of guy. <clears throat> yep. No, that's so, for sure. My dad is, we're going here, and we're not stopping until we get there. Most I enjoy, the like, bullshitting along the trail and yeah. talking about some hairy experiences and <laughs> stop, you know. Like, yeah. So it'll probably be, you know, a good hour and a half trip mm-hmm. if we do it that style, which is fine. Yeah. No, that's fine. We have the whole day, so. <clears throat> And I was thinking, you know, if we start at 10, do Lincoln Hills, see how we're feeling, see where we're on gas, maybe run back to the house, top off, and then go ride Carryville to Club 37, yeah. maybe grab a bite to eat. Yeah, for sure. That sounds like a plan. I mean, that that was kind of what I was thinking. We don't have to do, I mean, Lincoln Hills is 20 miles, depending on where and, you know, I, I don't know fuel-wise on sports quads. You know, usually I met half a tank time we get to Carryville on the side-by-side, yeah. so I always just top Gen- off. But generally, quads will go six, six between, depends how you ride, 60 to 80 miles. Okay. So if we're putzing along, I'm, I'm guessing. We'll probably be cruising, like, third gear. Yeah, I'm guessing we'll be, yeah. you should be a hit. You should be able to hit 60 miles easy. So, I mean, and that that's. Probably should buy a new RV map. So if we're taking, hey, get the right we're taking the turbo. Put the right command on your quad now. Yeah, I could. I got the app. Yeah. I just don't get service over there. What you need to do is at home or something, and I can show you how to do it. Download your maps ahead of time. That you way, when you do hit it on your phone. Yeah, yeah. And that way, when you hit the dead zones, your GPS will still work. You know, tell you where you're yeah. at still. That'd work. Yeah. 
Could mount that ram thing in the defender somewhere too. Now that we're yeah, keeping you it. can use it on there too. It's a good idea. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, that was kind of my plan. I know Club Thirty Seven's off the Carryville Loop. I can't remember exactly where. Yeah, I don't remember. Where I know there's is. a sign somewhere that says food, and that's yeah, Club Thirty Seven. Yeah. Um, worst case scenario, we could hop on like. Uh, and we can go to there's a uh, we've done it every now and then head up to Irons that there's some bars up there too oh yeah a big old cavern it's got some good food mm-hmm. I think they got a little gas station in Irons too yeah I think so yeah. heck yeah, you that's... can even hit Cadillac Iron Irons isn't that far off Lincoln Hills I don't think either no I, it shouldn't no I don't think it is because yeah. Irons is just what southwest of Cadillac a little bit or is it west of Cadillac Southwest Cal. Yeah. So we've had to... You have it's to like straight west of Luther. Yeah. Northwest of Luther. Yeah. So we've headed up like Cabra Fay area. We've ate up there a couple times. But you have to... You have to do some road riding to get there, but... It's, it's a, mostly dirt roads. Yeah. Um, We usually do a trip once a summer with my parents um, to Dublin. And we go through Irons. Mm-hmm. And we usually eat at the Big Oak Tavern. Yeah. They got good food, so I'm I'm down for anything. I was just thinking Club Thirty Seven because it's pretty much right off the trail. No, that sounds fine to me. But yeah, I'm good with anything. I mean, we can do a. I like the Big Oak Tavern. They got good food too. We can see what everybody else wants to do. I just figured, you know, we'd be riding and it'd be right about lunchtime. Yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Yeah, get some lunch, get a beer or so, and yeah. Hit something else. Who knows? Yeah. Wherever we're at, we can hit anything. We could do all three of them if we want. Do we the could. hat trick. Lincoln, Carryville, and Tin Cup. Yeah, if we're on our quads, we can hit maybe some 50 inch trails. The dirt bikers will yeah. be on this too. <clears throat> they can go. Now if we go to Club 37, that 50 inch is right behind Club 37. I have, I have not been on any of those 50 inch trails. So. I haven't been on that one at all. I think me and my dad were accidentally on part of it for our <laughs> razors, and it was got really tight, and they were logging it, so we got off of it, because <laughs> we couldn't figure out where we were at. We were kind of lost, but we were on a 50-inch trail, so I'm thinking we were on part of it. But I haven't been on any of them single tracks either, but I've heard that they don't compare to, to uh, ever Sunrise. Yeah, Sunrise is, like, number two. One of the it's, number one hardest. It's pretty next to German Island. Yeah, it's pretty intermediate. Lincoln Hills, I guess, Expert. is easy. Okay, an easy one. I don't know what they classify it. I'd classify it as expert because that's... there's so I think they like number. Can't remember my boss at work, Brian. I think he says it's like number three or something. Number three or four. There's only two of those trails in Michigan. And one's Drummond, and the other one's mm-hmm. Sunrise. Okay. I've heard it was... So it's one of the hardest. Someone gave me a bunch... Of, people have given me crap on the internet about it. I was like... Because I called it one of the hardest single tracks. Mm-hmm. They're like, this ain't that hard. They're like, do you haven't even been on it. You don't even know, but... Yeah. It's, it's pretty tough. There's... You go down to, like, the east side and south... Southeast side of the track. It's... Gets pretty rocky and hilly and... There's, looks it's like, tough. I watched one of your guys' videos when you, when you three brothers went. Yeah. It looked like it got kind of muddy in some Once, spots, too. Yeah. <clears throat> we got down really close to Everett. That was, like, we were pretty much in Everett at that point. Like, if you look at the map, it gets really pointy, and mm-hmm. we were at that point down there at the south of Everett. It was very muddy down there. Yeah. It and, like you're driving through swamp. Yeah. There's a single track that goes through the swamp. That's yeah, it, it, was, like. it was. It was a swamp. And, uh... At that point, we're like, man, we're not even halfway. We were on there for about an hour to two, hour and a half, two hours or so. At that point, it was getting late, and like we got to turn around. So we found a main trail and got on, got on it and headed back. We so I've not done the whole track yet, but that the trail that we did it was rough. It was, yeah, it was fun. That was fun. So it, I didn't enjoy that shit. I was I was learning a lot though on my bike. So, yeah, I've done some singles with Justin on the pit bike, Rebecca's pit bike. Yeah, and I mean it was fun. 
I could see where it would have been fun on a full size bike, knowing what I know now. But on the pit bike, I went over the handlebars a couple times. <laughs> because when the gra- the ground gets tall, yeah. And on a regular bike, your foot pegs would be above the ground still. Yeah. On the pit bike, you're riding the groove. Right in the groove. Like. Yeah. My foot was sticking out just a little bit off the peg, and it caught the dirt and sent me over to handlebars, which, I mean, well, I had fun, though. Yeah. To do optimally, a two-stroke would be good to keep your torque down a little bit, but if you had a recluse clutch, that would have been even better, because on our 250 four-strokes, and you're in first and second constantly, and it's just, you're Mm -hmm. on the, my, yeah, my hand gets so sore, because you're on the clutch like 80 percent of the time if, well because the first gear is so you would have to get a dirt bike again but if you want to ride singles i gave you brian's number my boss brian he loves riding single tracks he he rides like third fourth gear in single tracks he hauls the mail so i don't know how you can ride sunrise in third gear it's too fast he does i'm telling justin's you. rode with him he's like my God. brian's just gone like, uh, trying to keep up well, with him, he's just gone. I remember he was on that KTM that day. Yeah, yeah KTM I mean, 300. Yeah. I w- That's I, the same I, day you ate it doing your wheelie. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. it was that day. I mean, I, I caught up. I mean, I was with him the whole time, but I was just making sure that you were yeah. not getting he, left behind. He was going slow that day because of me. Oh, was he? Yeah, he, he usually just gone. <laughs> I mean, I've I, talked to Justin, and Justin's rode with yeah, him a couple well, times. He was also on a... I don't know how fast that... He's on a trail bike. He's on a two-stroke trail bike. So yeah. that has a little bit of a slower gear ratio. Of, so I'll give you that. That His third gear is probably our second gear on those dirt bikes. Even my father-in-law, though, that races dirt bikes, yeah. he says, don't get on single track with Brian. <laughs> he says, if you want to if you wanna be fair competition, get him on a racetrack. Brian's a good rider. Yeah. And... I think he had a 380 before he bought that 300. Oh. He traded a 380 two-stroke and a 300. Okay. But he bought that bike brand new in, like, yeah. I think it's 98. And I showed him pictures. They had a 2000 or 99 300 XC, which is what his bike is, mm-hmm. KTM. And they wanted three grand for it. He's like, shit, I paid 3500 brand new for mine back in the day. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you probably make money on it. <laughs> you know? Oh my God, prices are so ridiculous right now. Yeah. My brand new KTM's ten grand. Yeah, no kidding. I was at, we got Peacock <laughs> last time. I was looking at the bikes. And the KTM's were all, they were, they were like $3,000 more than all the other bikes. Yeah. The, like the Kawasaki, yeah, like, because they have Kawasaki's in there and KTM's. Yeah, and Suzuki's. This is in Suzuki's. And they were $3,000 more. Yeah. So yeah, like four fifty cows cowie to a four fifty uh four fifty cow is like seventy five hundred yeah, bucks. Yeah, and the KTM was like nine thousand, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> like Jesus. Oh, so we were at Village Motorsports and they had a KTM or no, was it Village? It was Village. They had a KTM one fifty, seventy two hundred bucks. A brand new YZ two fifty two stroke, seventy two hundred bucks. Yeah. So you get two fifty or one fifty, yeah, the same price. Yep. Yamahas, in my opinion, are just as good. I've never been on the Yamaha bike, but they're good. they're good bikes. I Yamaha. rode on two of them, but I wasn't experienced with a clutch when I rode them. Yeah. Then we're both Justins. Yeah. Honestly, in my opinion, I think all the all the dirt bikes are pretty good. I think. Kind of the same with quads. I think they're all pretty good. Like the yeah. you know, between the Honda, the Yamaha, and the Players and the Canium, they're all pretty good. I mean, I'd like to ride and I rode one, but I thought it rode like shit. But it's also when I was still learning the clutch and I was on the dirt bike. I'd like to ride on a y, YFC again, four fifty. Mm-hmm. I drove a twenty nineteen and it <clears throat> seemed, seemed pretty punchy to me. Like, but. I was also learning clutch, so that very well yeah. could have been me. So I rode a stock YFZ, and that was I was coming from a um, a Predator to the YFZ, and the, I mean it was completely stock. And then my this is a long time ago, so it's been a while, but I just remember it. It just seemed a little bit blah. 
So that's not, that's the opposite. And this was a 2019 special edition I rode. It just seemed like you barely give it gas and it's like throwing you in the seat. Yeah. <laughs> like, or you let off and the engine brake was terrible. Like you're leaning, they okay. push you over the handlebars. Like yeah. that was my experience on it. Yeah. But also when I let off, I wasn't thinking to pull the clutch in. You know, if you're riding a manual now, when you let off, generally you pull the clutch in. Yeah. So that very well could have just been that too. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's been, I haven't been on a YFC. But the seat, <clears throat> I tell you, the seat is like riding on a freaking 2 by oh, 4 it's horrible. Spun the 2-inch way. Yeah. Where the Predators, like, riding on a 4 by 6 Players in Can-Am have decent seats. The Can-Am DS450, a little, little hard. Yamaha, YFZ, and the Honda seats, whew, those are hard seats. Now, the Raptor seats are comfortable. Sure, it'll call it Raptor. Hey, yeah, they're probably. Yeah, it's. I don't. I haven't been on one in a while. They're they're cushiony. <clears throat> well, I mean, I guess the Y YFZ we sat at a Peacock with well, twenty twenty that was decent. I didn't. I didn't sit on it. Oh, you didn't? No. I thought you did. No, I didn't sit on that one. Hmm. Yeah, they wanted what? How much did they want for that? Ninety eight hundred bucks. You yeah. Got a brand new one for ninety two. Freaking twenty twenty used. Get a twenty twenty two for ninety two hundred bucks. They wanted it was a special edition, but Jesus, they oh, wanted are, so much for that. Quad. These were special editions too. They were oh. at Fox. They were sold already, but I asked how much they were. It was like nine grand. Not for a brand new one. God, not even worth it. So I, I I've been thinking a lot about my experience there. I I still like Peacock. I like Dave, the sales manager. And all the parts people and the mechanics are cool. So yeah. I can't hate on Peacock, but I just hate the one guy that works there. <clears throat> no, he was an asshole. <clears throat> I'm yeah. not going to give... No, I, I I, haven't been there enough to have any other I've had to deal with him twice in three years. And I, yeah, I've never, the outcome's I've never been dealt the with same. him. But every time I've gone in there, just like... No one even wants... Hardly anyone comes up to you to ask if you want any help or questions or whatever. There's just... Yeah. Doing their own thing, you know. I that's just one thing I've noticed. Well, <clears throat> when me and Rebecca go in there, and and it could be because I bought my razor from Dave, and my dad also bought a razor from Dave, the yeah. sales manager. He wasn't there; he's was busy doing something. Yeah. Um, he always comes and asks how we're doing, if he can help us with anything. Yeah. Okay. But he's, I mean, he's the sales manager though. So yeah. He shouldn't have to do that. But no. He just knows us when we walk in. So but still, I mean. Yeah, it's, it's it's frustrating. You go on the lakeside, and as soon as you're through the door, almost they're just like, "Can we help you guys with anything? You know, yeah. what are you guys looking for?" Type of thing, you know. That's what a dealership should do. Yeah, <clears throat> in my opinion. But, That's how uh, Fox Power Sports was, and they were super busy that day. Yeah. Though. But I had the uh, the guy that got me into a salesman was uh, the accessory guy. Oh. But he's yeah. like, those I sell accessories, but yeah. it's like, I can get you somewhere. Yeah. It's just still cool. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. they're slammed. Yeah. Like still, trying to, try, still trying yeah. to get you some help. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so I'm excited to ride a couple oh, days. for sure. Oh. Much needed R&R. Yes. I'm really hoping Much the weather needed. holds out, though. Yeah. Jesus. Spring weather's been horrible. <laughs> I was looking at pictures from last year. Like, memories popped up. Grass is green as it could be. I mean, it is fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Our grass is still half dead right now. Yeah. It's, it's trying to poke through. It's I'm like sure. as soon as it pokes through, we get snow. Yep, it does. Yep. We had an early spring last year. We did. Yeah. This year is like dragging out. It is dragging, and it's it sucks. It's dragging on because this is the worst winter ever. Because it was not even hardly a winter. We just had no snow, none at all. All your guys' snow dances are coming through now. But yeah, yeah. Now springtime hits, and every other day it's snowing on the ground. 
Snowing and melting. That's Snowing and melting. Funny, I wake up like it'd be like sixty degrees the night before, and yeah. I'll wake up to two inches of snow on the ground. Like, what the heck? It's like where'd this come from? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so yeah, the day we we played this. I don't know, two weeks ago or, or longer, and kind of looked ahead in time, and they're calling for nice weather for a while, and then all of a sudden now it's just, yeah, it's going to be about 40 degrees, cloudy, and a chance of snow. Maybe some rain. Uh, the last I looked at the weather channel, it was cloudy tomorrow, Thursday, and then uh, overcast, sunshiny, 40 degrees on Friday. I can handle the cold. It's just I don't want it to be wet, like rainy wet. Yeah, the trails are gonna be wet, which, which is fine. I can handle that, but I just don't want to be rained on the whole time or snowed on. Yeah, it just. But right, we'll make it work. We're gonna ride either way. Did your uh, razor come with a windshield? No. I might know a guy that has a half windshield that might fit that. I did ask. Or we could steal a full windshield. Off my dad's razor. My dad has a half and a full. Uh, your dad's razor windshield won't fit. <clears throat> it should. It won't. The cage is wider. I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Because his full windshield came off of XP 1000. Hmm. Pretty sure. Well, it might. I did ask. They haven't got back with me yet. <clears throat> Kenny Bone was like, Do you want anything to review for your XP Turbo? I gave him a list of stuff. <laughs> I gave him new whips, uh, uh, what? Uh, Radio. Ro- well, they're they are sending me the the subwoofer or the soundbar, and uh, so whips, uh, windshield and roof, and what's another thing? What was it? Back windshield. No. Winch? No. I don't remember now. <laughs> Whips? Roof windshield. Roof windshield. There's something else. I don't remember what it was. Oh, fang lights. Oh, okay. Fang lights. But, so we'll see. if I, I don't know what they're going to give me, but I was hoping they'd give me the roof and windshield just because. Yeah. But. Do they understand that you, like, flip side by sides? Or do they just think you're getting a new side by side every three months? Uh, I don't, I don't know because I, honestly, I don't even know if I'm talking to the same person every time. They, I think they just think that I own a lot of side by sides for whatever reason. Oh, <laughs> like your defender. The def- yeah, they're like, do you still have your defender? It's like, yes, I sell the defender. Do you still have the Kawasaki? Yes, I sell the Kawasaki. <laughs> still got the XP one thousand. Yep, like, the turbo. I have two turbos now. I, I mean. And then he's like, well, what, what about the X3? I know you sold it. Like, I don't own it anymore, but I have an X3 we can put stuff on. Dust. Which is dusted. <laughs> so, yeah. Man, they just think you're fucking loaded. Like, yeah, we're going to pawn our shit off on this yeah, guy. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> oh, and this other company, uh, A&U TV Pro, they asked me, um, what kind of truck do you have? And I told them. And then... Like a week later, they're like, "All right, we have this product. We want you to test on your truck." It's like, "Oh boy, here we go." So uh, they're sending me aftermarket tail lights for the truck, and I would have said no because I didn't care about it. But they blacked out. They blacked out. They're pretty, <laughs> they're pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm putting blacked out tail lights on it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the LEDs and you should stuff. Should tell them you got a 2016 Ram 1500. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell them. I don't, yeah. So they must have a side company that, that does Truck. trucks, I guess. Are you getting any, you know, 20 or 17 by negative 12 r- rims? <laughs> yeah. 2016 rims. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I highly doubt it. <laughs> highly doubt it. Well, stay tuned, you guys, because we are going to do a lot of riding this weekend, and we are very excited. We have a lot of exciting content coming for Excited for the XP Turbo to be running, and excited to get the Charlotte out finally, and I'm excited to just beat everybody in the Stage 3 Predator, so. (laughs) 
I'm gonna turn your gas off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> while have his. We're gonna go down and back race. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Behind the scenes, while we'll be like, you'll be like recording yourself, like, yeah, I'll, t- I'll show you. Turn yeah. off my gas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't have to pay attention now. I'm gonna make sure my gas is gonna be in the on position. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jesus. All right, you got me drunk, and you told me I told you what I was gonna do, and <laughs> I know all the all the zones now, and I know what you're gonna do, all the moves. Oh, you don't know all my moves. Oh gosh, <laughs> I've been in material handling for six years. You don't know all my moves. <laughs> as long as you don't put sand in my gas tank. <laughs> I won't do that. Oh, good. I'm above that. All right. Maybe a little bit of sugar. <laughs> yeah, a little sugar. <laughs> Maybe a little water, sugar, but no sand. <laughs> Just going to add a whole can of Octane Booster of mine before we race. <laughs> yeah. Race fuel. Bother. Uh, borrow a gallon of uh, 110 from my father-in-law. <laughs> We'll be ripping good. Does he? He runs race fuel in his sleds. Yeah, I think he runs them in his dirt bikes too. Really? Well, I mean, Dustin did too when he was at Silver Lake. I don't know. I could I be think wrong. I, 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 think. I could be wrong. I mean, I think you need to run a specific tune for that, but I could be wrong. I don't know. It's just a higher octane. I know his sleds are like built, built. Well, I know. Yeah, I know that. It's cool to watch what they do to those to get more horsepower out of them. It'd be interesting. Ooh, excuse me. It would be interesting to know. It's, it's, it's cool watching them work on them. Like, yeah. like I ask him, I'm like, so what's like factor on this sled? He's like, the tunnel <laughs> and the uh, tub and the the hood. Yeah, yeah. the the chassis. No. No. No, just the tunnel, just the tunnel and, and the like hood. the hood <laughs> is factory. That's funny. The rest has all been built. Chassis's been built. Skis, mm. all that's been yeah, tuned that. and adjusted. They just they run circles or they drag race? Circles. Circles. Uh, oval track. Yeah. At Eagle River though, which is in Wisconsin. I, I ask him, and it's like a 20-foot wall, and it's banked. Oh. So you got to have your speed. Like, oh, you, you got to know you your can, line yeah, and you your can, speed. Cause you can, like, bank the circles and stuff, bank the turns. So you have bit. to bank it. Have it's to bank all it. banked. Oh, okay. Like, he uh, wiped out, and his sled was up top, and he was down at the bottom. He <laughs> asked the ref if he could get his sled for him. Because <laughs> you literally cannot walk up the ice hill oh. to get your sled. I was hung up. That's funny. Yeah. It'd be it'd be that'd be cool to watch. I'd like to go watch him race the Eagle River. Yeah. But for me, I hate standing out in the cold all day. <laughs> Man, you and cold just don't get along. No, I don't. It's weird I work at your play too. You're in the cooler a lot and maybe that's why. It could be. And I have to deal with that work. How many people you know wear a hoodie to work when it's eighty degrees outside? <laughs> Not too many. Yeah, I see you wear a sweater to work. It's like, Jesus. And you, wear, and you drive your truck at 90 degrees in the wintertime. Yeah. Or even in the summertime. <laughs> yeah. Seems, I'm just kidding, but. It, it, That's true. I sweat people out, man. It's, uh, it's, they just, I think. Don't like the cold. Well, I think really screwed me up is I worked, when I worked that year at Avon Automotive, it was always hot in that building. Oh, yeah. So like even when it was cold outside, it was I was warm. Like yeah, I think it screwed my shit all up. <laughs> and ever since then, I have had to have my shit cranked. I don't know. I like it cool. Like I mean, oh, don't I'm, get me wrong. I like the AC on in my yeah. house in the oh, summertime. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like yeah. walking in the refrigerator. Do you have AC in your house? Central air, yeah. Do you? I didn't know that. Yeah, Rebecca has it cranked at like 65 oh, all summer it's, long. Yeah, you're right. I you walk in and it's like, whoo. Yeah, I remember. Frosty in here. You know, I remember we'd play video games here and there and I, I'd be freezing. I, mm-hmm. sh- I should have bought my sweater. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That little house, though, I mean, that probably doesn't take much to keep that cool. No. 
I gotta go through and insulate it a little better though in yeah. the basement. We need to get central air in this house because this house is insulated very well. And when it's hot though, it takes forever to like. If we get a hot, some hot days in here, it stays hot in here. It takes forever central to cool down. Central air is very expensive though. I know it's like a couple it's like more five like grand. Couple, yeah, it's it's. Cole got it installed in his house. I don't think he paid that much for it though, but he could have. His house is bigger than this house. Uh, his grandpa though knows how to do that shit probably too. They had a professional do it. They it had... wasn't Keith. No, they didn't install that. Yeah. I figured so, he would know how to do that. All they did was tie it into the heater system, central air. That's how mine's tied yeah. in. So whoever put mine in, though, they cut the power to the shed, and they used that amperage off the oh. box to run the central air. Yeah, so you can't run them at the same time. No, my shed doesn't have power. Oh, I run my shed power. off extension cord. Oh, that's right. You do do that now, yeah. yeah. Hey, Some AC's more features. important, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> For like seven months out of the year, it's more important. Yeah. The basement in here stays cool for 80% of the summer, and about the time it's August, then it starts getting hot down here. It's like end of July or so. It's about time when you got to start running fans down here, but it's nice in the basement in the yeah. summertime. Upstairs, though, different story. It's nice, though, when it's like those, like, lately we've been getting them 90 degree days. Yeah. When it's 30 degree difference when you walk in your house. Yeah. The windows are, like, fogged oh. over. <laughs> yep. Those are the nice days. Because I remember, like, my parents' house, we'd had the fans going, and you're just laying there in your bed, like, miserable. Yeah. Like, I got no blankets on, and I'm just sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Three fans blowing on you. Nothing helps. Yeah. Even down here, though, because we, we don't run dehumidif dehumidifiers. Well, we do, <clears throat> but they don't, like, they're not constantly running. So, But down here, it gets so humid, and then you get that cold, that cold damp, humid mm -hmm. feeling down here. It feels like you're just wet all the time, which it is wet. Yeah. It's, the humidity is just so high. And, yeah, we all get that. It feels like you're sleeping in just a lake sometimes. <laughs> but, hey, it's so, it's, it's, still it's, cool. it's still cool. You'll, uh, yeah, you'll get that. Yeah. I can't play, complain too much because I want that feeling right now. I'm sick of this cold weather. <laughs> yeah. The other day, it was yesterday, actually. It finally warmed up enough, and apparently the frogs decided it was warm enough because the frogs are chirping now. And I heard them at my place even. Yeah, and normally you hear when you start hearing the frogs chirping, you know spring's here. So it's it's starting. It's gotta it's, be. It's starting. They the frogs say it's time, so they're gonna be in a roll to hurt when it's get when it gets down cold again. Be eating this frog week. legs. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> this giant pine tree that fell in our pond, our swamp here last winter, mm -hmm. that fell down. I was like, damn. I wonder how many frogs died in that. <laughs> <laughs> it fell right into. The, it's huge. Right in the middle of it. But for real, though, I wonder how many uh, frogs got impacted by that. We probably got a lot more because it's a lot more coverage from birds and shit to get their tadpoles. Well, they have more coverage now, but, yeah. Well, in our old house, I used to raise tadpoles. We'd get literally five-gallon buckets full of them in our swimming pool Yeah. in the spring. So I'd take, like, ten of them in the house and raise them in my fish bowl. And it was cool to slowly watch them grow legs and yeah. shit and turn into frogs. It's like one day I had, and you know, I didn't have a, they have a screen over, it's just a fish tank. Yeah. Like one day I had ten tadpoles. Next day I had seven tadpoles. <laughs> Next day I had three tadpoles. And then before I knew it, they had any tadpoles left. They're all frogs in the house somewhere. <laughs> they all jumped out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably died and who knows. I thought it was cool, though. Mom yeah. didn't think so. <laughs> My dad's like, yeah, it's 
circle of life. You know, they turn into tadpoles. Praise your mom. Let, let that happen. I think me and my dad just did it. Just did, just did it. Yeah, we didn't tell mom. <laughs> that was a lot of shit we did. We didn't tell mom. <laughs> I damn near cut said, my... Don't tell mom about this. Oh, my dad asked me one time our uh, for our swimming pool, the net. Instead of buying an aluminum pole, we just go cut a limb off a tree and use that as our net oh, yeah. to get stuff up. So, yeah, I'll go get one. So I hop on my quad and I go cut a branch. Well, the saw skipped the feet and I cut part of my thumb. Oh. So there's blood's gushing everywhere. I'm freaking out. So I put my sleeve over my thumb. <laughs> and I drive back to the house on the little 90 and... I walked past my mom. She's like, everything all I'm like, yep, everything's okay. And I go show my dad, and he's like, oh, yeah, we got we to gotta address that. <laughs> I didn't show my mom because I knew she'd freak out. Yeah. <laughs> a boy. Yeah. It's fun times. Uh, that was way back. I wasn't even on our property getting a limb. <laughs> Standing on the rack, fucking sawn. You lived in your... It's Pine, Pine Road. Pine Road. A mile from the school, right by yeah. Diamond Lake Bar. That's a, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, down that road. Yeah. I think it's a blue house now. It was a white house. Mm. I there. there. That's yeah. That's the road that goes west on Diamond Lake Road, right? It's like, it's like, east. It's east. So you get eighteen mile. Yeah. And we're like a half a mile. There's a road. Miles. There's a road east on. Cause doesn't it hit the highway at some point if you head east? No, we're on the other side of the highway. So we're on the same side of the highway as the school. Yeah, but if you head east, then you'll you'll hit the highway at some point. No, you'd be headed west. Right. Or am I backwards? I think you're backwards. There's only one road. Yeah, it goes west. Yeah, okay. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. I am saying I don't know if there's any roads that head east on that road. I was thinking when I'm coming back out, I was headed east. Well, yeah. I got gotcha. you. I got right here. So that's Diamond Lake Bar. Yep. That's yeah, Pine road. yeah, that's the road. <clears throat> Man, I didn't know it went back that far. Yeah. I've never been down that road. This was AJ Holmes' house. He sold that. And then this was the our house. Oh. Paved. And then this cement slab was always there. Hmm. Put a foundation for something. Yeah. And then this was all swimming pool when we lived there, but they ripped it out. Hmm. And then there's the two track. It goes back uh, to other people's property. Oh, cool. Yeah, we used to ride let's see where we are. the sand here. We used to have permission to ride all that. So oh, the sand. Yeah. Something back there. So as the trail goes through here, and it turns, and it curves, and you ride this out, this is all fucking sand. Oh, Ooh, that's cool. It's like our own little sand pit yeah. we used to ride when I had my 90. This Warren Richter's property, Richter Sawmill. Oh, okay, that all connects right there, I see. So, yeah. and that's all his property. Oh, okay. So we used to ride them sand lots. I think it was this one. So, cool. That was okay. our house. Yeah, we rode all this, and then, yeah, you'd pop out here, and you'd go there, and this was all the sand we'd ride. Yeah, okay. I was going to ask him if we could ride it again, but... I don't know, I feel kind of weird asking. Yeah. Because if you, this is the school road corner. Yeah. You could access it from there. <clears throat> Tito. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. Fun times back yeah. there. My dad almost flipped the 400 on top of me. <laughs> he went up, and it, it was just like a straight up, and then it was road, two track. He goes up and wheelies it, and I'm right behind him on my 90, and he's wheeling it and sets it down. But that's good old days. 
The good old days. Yeah. Australia as the bird flies isn't too far from my parents' house. It's only within like five miles. Them but, sand pits we rode. Yeah. So it's crazy to think about, but so they're ten miles to the highway, but that's driving. Yeah. Yeah, it's really not too far. You just gotta go around everything. Mm-hmm. If you could fly. Yeah. I don't know why there's not like, why didn't why didn't eighteen mile just go all the way straight through all that crap? Private property. All right. Well, now it is. Yeah, but why not back then? I don't know. Swampy, rivery. Probably. <laughs> too much work. Yep. Well, there used to be. My dad told me about it. There was a two track that ran behind the school. And it connected 17 mile and 18 mile together. Last time I was back there was on my Razor 570. And I popped out at some dude's fucking house in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I think it kind of got blocked off after yeah, a while. Yeah, <clears throat> I popped out in some dude's field. I'm like, yeah, this ain't right. So <laughs> then I went back through and I had a dude in a pickup just mean mugging the shit out of me. Pretty sure I was on his property. <laughs> but I didn't stop. Yeah. He stopped. I didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've rode that trail, but I think it's pretty much just done now. This, that was years ago. Yeah, you pop out in some dude's field now. Yeah. See, I could have swore back in the day we used to connect it in the Jeep. When oh. they had their Jeep. Yeah, but, we did. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, because I, I know we've rode that to go to Luther. We, we, hit, we go to that dead end and run through those trails and then head south. Mm-hmm. And hit 17 mile. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done that. I think I shut it down. Someone shut it down. Now you can go, now you go over like Leroy Road. Yeah. And get on mm-hmm. 15 mile or 16 mile. I guess we'll we'll close off the podcast here. Yeah. So <clears throat> thank you guys so much for listening to the Brett Hawks podcast. Episode 23. If you, look, what's that? I was going to say, we just look forward to having you listen to it. Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. And we love doing this, getting just getting down, sitting, talking about things we like. We're definitely going to try to get more people on. Eventually, it'll happen. We just can't do this at midnight every, every yeah. time we do this. There's a lot of exciting stuff going on, though, in the very near future. Yes, a lot of exciting things happening, uh, like Wyatt said. Um Things are changing. Uh, it'll get there. You just got to be patient. So, but that being said, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Discord. You can go to my website, com if you want to buy any parts or merchandise. So, it's all down in the link down below. And, uh, highly recommend the Discord. Yes. We've got, it's, it's growing slowly, but it's growing. And we have a fun time. If you guys like, forums that aren't bull crappy stupid like facebook groups head to our discord because it's uh, a lot better <laughs> we have a lot of fun time there so um definitely check that out and uh yeah i think that's gonna well, be it we'll catch you in the next uh podcast we'll definitely see you guys in the next podcast